delighted, Russell shakes Roy's hand enthusiastically. You go out there to Barbados, and you know, it's very expensive sometimes when you travel, Russell. We wouldn't want you to run short of money because you, you won £2,000, OK? Mm -hmm. Well, our producer is a very nice fellow, and he decided that we should give you another £3,000 to spend. <laughs> How's a five that? Total prize value £8,715. Ladies and gentlemen, for watching the programme. Remember, footprints on the sands of time are not made by sitting down. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Camera pulls back, revealing some of the studio audience as Roy leads... A stitch in time saves nine, so don't get timed out. Go flip the kettle on and be back here in time to play Catchphrase next on Challenge. And Fifi Garfield is your new game show host weekdays at 11 as we sign to win. You've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Turn Friday into Fajita Friday. Old El Paso, make some noise. Password. What? You've forgotten not to worry. What was your first pet's middle name? Alan? What's your favourite kind of rock? If your uncle was a soup, what would he be? Soup? It's OK, Buttercup. Buttercup, one, two, three! Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Hey, good news, Dad. Get help improving your credit score with Clear School. Here we are. The UK's number one credit score and report app. Is that a naked protester? Yeah. Every day, a million trees are cut down for toilet paper. I don't want to be Lou Roll. Absolutely not. But hang on. Serious tissues don't cut down trees. They don't. In fact, they plant trees instead. They do. Trees like you and me. Yeah. And Big Al. The legend. Colonel Conker. Good man. Hello. So, why don't you just tell him to switch to serious tissues? <laughs> Switch now at SeriousTissues.com Glasses Direct Trusted by over 2 million UK customers Try four frames at home for seven days for free Each order is checked directly by our qualified opticians Right now get two pairs from £15 with lenses and with free returns, no quibbles you should go direct to glassesdirect.co.uk. Dad. Mum. Can we chat about releasing some equity from the house? Don't roll your eyes. You deserve it. Do all the things that you said you'd do. But never have. You've put so much into this home. I think. It's time you take a little back out. With a Viva Equity release, you can borrow money against your home while safeguarding a proportion for your family's inheritance. Call free at 808 239 today and see if equity release is right for you. Learning new skills takes practice, dedication, and an army of supporters. Go Henry helps your kids build money skills now so they can go out and achieve their dreams in the future. Go Henry, where kids go to learn money skills. I've got nothing to eat. Nothing. <sighs> Hold on, I can do something. Turning nothing into something. Turning nothing into something. I turn nothing into something. It's amazing what you can do with nothing and a little helmet. Make taste, not waste. Burnley's a small town and there's only 90,000 people that live here. We are in a relegation battle. I don't think these Americans understand Burnley. And with that, Burnley are relegated from the Premier League. This is a big ask for Vincent Company. The detail he goes into is unbelievable. Come on, go again! He demands so much from us. 
And we go, we beat them. Absolutely beautiful. And we beat whatever comes after as well. When you're down and people say you're not good enough, trust that we'll finish on top. Listen to the turf more roar. Definitely hoping to go below that red line. Pointless Celebrities, weeknights at 7 on Challenge. Congratulations, number three. You said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Bubble zoom down a curved corridor, red and blue arrows guiding them. A bubble enters a circular maze logo, an animated clip playing. Now that's a scratching post. Feline claws run down a post box. Bubbles pass a yellow robot character curving around until another bubble enters a second logo. This is a sheep dip. A sheep is dipped headfirst into a dish of food. Bubbles continue through a maze of curved corridors, a third bubble bursting on a logo. Just say what you see. And those are three steps to heaven. A staircase to a golden gate flanked by angels. The bubbles pass a pointing robot and reaching the maze of centre, burst revealing gold letters which form to read catchphrase. A live studio audience. Say what you see, and you're about to see Mr Catchphrase himself, Roy Walker! Dressed in a dark suit and tie, Roy runs out onto stage smiling broadly, then bows to the audience. And me, I'm not so lucky, you know. I loaned a friend of mine a thousand pounds to have plastic surgery, ladies and gentlemen. Now I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> Lucky contestants, let's meet them. A lit dais rotates, revealing a woman and a man behind respective desks, a buzzer atop each. They smile to Roy and he moves across to greet them, a catchphrase card in his hand to which he refers. Hi. Hi, Josephine. Hello, Roy. Welcome to Catchphrase. Thank you, nice to be let's here. Let's see what we have. See, you come from Manchester? I do. Right, and you're married? Yes, I am. And you have a little baby? Yeah, well, she's 20 months now, yes. What's, what's her name? Her name's Grace. Do you want to say hello, Grace? What's Can I? Name? Hello, Grace. That's nice, that's <laughs> nice. You, t you were telling me you had this very unusual holiday. Tell us some about it. Oh, well, I was going once on a driving holiday. It was all planned through Spain. We were going to be away for two months. Okay. But the mini we were, we were going in, it broke down. So we had to borrow a car at the last minute, and the only car we could actually get was a white wedding car, you know, a Rolls Royce. Luxury. So it was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Isn't so it we amazing to... everything about weddings is always sort of white. The, wa the bride wears white as a s sign of her purity. And the groom always wears black or dark. Yeah. Or <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you on the programme. Thank Josephine, you. ladies and gentlemen. I've got to say hello to Doug. Hi. Doug Young, originally from the United States of America, but now living in Yorkshire. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Tell me about whereabouts in America you're from. and. New Jersey, just outside of Atlantic City. Right, and what sort of things do you like to do? You seem to be a great musical man. And... I'm a DJ. I'm a radio DJ looking for a home. Anybody out there wants to get yeah, me, you can contact me after the show. You'd <laughs> like to get into being a DJ again. Uh, yeah, I'd like to stay in the business. As yeah, much you're doing as clubs at the moment, but... Clubs, pubs, but, weddings and stuff. But such, you'd like but to get into the radio. I want to get back on air. Oh, well, that's good. Now, you're from America, and um, have you ever met the president? Uh, not the president of America, no. No, I, I've actually met the president of America. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Bill Clinton. I met him in Ireland last year, and I said to him, I said, um, Mr. Clinton, do you think will there ever be a woman in the White House? And he said, yes, if I can get rid of Hillary for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you on the programme, Doug. A large screen stands to the side of them, consisting of nine holiday destinations, a light flashing over them at random. You've won the toss, so you get to decide where this week's special holiday is going to go to. Josephine, hit the button. Japan! Yeah, Doug would like to go there. OK. Ted, tell us some more about this fabulous prize. Yes, our winner and their partner could be flying off to Tokyo, modern capital of Japan. From Tokyo and its glitzy Ginza area, they will travel by the world-famous bullet train to Kyoto, Japan's old capital, to visit the ancient temple, shrines and the amazing Golden Pavilion. Experience the unique culture of this fascinating land, all courtesy of Catchphrase. Friends, it's all there for you. It's just got to be one. We play for money. Whoever's got the most money goes into the super catchphrase to try and win that wonderful holiday. Speaking about money, the chase is on. It's up to a hundred pounds. You chose the holiday. Doug, you choose the money. Get lucky. One hundred pounds. 
Doug throws up his arms triumphantly. £100 to catch you is a word of warning, my friends. Don't buzz in till you hear this sound. Be lucky. Here's a hundred pounder. An animated clip shows a pig which stretches, then turns into the word bank. Ah, just on the bell, can we accept it? Yes, Doug. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> There's a bonus catchphrase hidden behind those nine squares for which we're putting £200 into the bonus bank. <laughs> Doug, you stop the computer, please. <laughs> You've selected that square. We'll uncover it and we'll give you five seconds to tell us what's there. Here we go. A bird's foot. You've won 100 for 200 more? Under the sea. It's a good guess. It's not the one. Josephine, you're back in play. Here's the catchphrase. A red ring on a hob is covered with a frying pan, the word tonight lowering into it. There goes the bell. Who's got a bell? Here comes Doug. Cooking tonight. Cooking tonight is good, but no, we're not going to take it. Josephine. Frying tonight. Frying tonight. It's even, Stephen. It's £100 each, and you're all nice and relaxed, and there's the bonus. Josephine, your first attempt. You're carrying along the same line as Doug. Five seconds. Here we go. A worm on a string. I've got £190 for you because the bonus uh, decreases by £10 every time. Have you got an idea, Josephine? Early bird catches a worm. Yes! We're going to do that! The screen is revealed a bird fishing a worm out from a hole in the ground against a dawn sky. Worm! My goodness gracious! Who would have ever thought just two squares off? Doug's got £100. Josephine's got £290. We're going to put the money up! <laughs> It's 125 pounds of catchphrase. You got a bit of catching up to do, Doug. So hit the button. Get lucky. One, two, five. I stopped getting them so early. <laughs> dog. One, two, five. A catchphrase. A word of warning, friends. Remember the bell. Watch your screens. Here's a 125 pounder. A robot character stands beneath clouds. Another floating above them. There's Mr. Chip. You thought it was important. There's the bell. Just say what you see. Doug. Above the clouds. Above the clouds is right for 125. <laughs> Here's a new bonus catch for us. We're putting 250 pounds into the bonus bank. So take your first square away, please, Doug. <laughs> Down to the bottom on the right. Five seconds. Here we go. Two partial yellow letters are revealed. You've won 225 pounds for 250 pounds more. Doug. Bouncing mice. It's good, but it's not right. Josephine, you're back in play. Here's another catchphrase. A house appears, the word roost, written twice beside it. <laughs> Say what you see, Josephine. Home to roost. Home to roost is right. <laughs> Home to roost. There's the new bonus. Your first attempt. Take a square, please. Five seconds. Here we go. Josephine, you've got £415 for £240 more. What do you think it is? Ice. Ice Let's is not right. Doug, you're back. Here's the catchphrase. A cauldron melts under a sun. Doug, right on the bell. Can we accept it? Yes. Melting pot. Melting pot's the right one. <laughs> there's a higher authority than me, Doug. And there's the bonus. Take a square, please. <laughs> Up to the top. Five seconds. He's changing direction. Here we go. £230 more to add to 350 you've already won. What do you think it is? Ice and a slice. Ice and a slice is a great guess, but it's not the one. Josephine, you're back in play. Here's the catchphrase. A robot stands between two words, every and thing. Just say what you see. Wait for the bell and leave it up to me. Do. In between everything. In between everything's good, but it's not the one. Josephine? In the middle of everything. No, chips with everything. Oh. There he is, Mr. Chips. Oh. Watch out, he sneaks up on you. Here's another catchphrase. An animated poker stokes a fire. Doug, poker face. You've got your poker face on at the moment, so you have. You've moved into the lead, you've got £475. There's the bonus ticket square, please. Five seconds, here we go. Eyes peer through a glass. For £220 more, what is it? Yellow letters behind the glass read lice. Gotta hurry you. Eyes in the picture you're of slice. You're not right, Josephine, <laughs> you're back. Here's a catchphrase. The word daisy is made out of chains. Here comes Doug. Daisy chain. Daisy chain is right. <laughs> 600 pounds. 600 pounds. How much is that in dollars? That's uh, about $1,000, $900. Is it's not there. far off. Okay, it's not bad. There's the bonus. Take a square. <laughs> Five seconds. Here we go. A pair of eyes. 600 pounds for 210 more. Doug, what's the bonus catchphrase? 
Eyes in a You're slice. not right, Josephine. You're back. Here's the catchphrase. The word plunge. Mr. Chips appears and pulls it down off screen. Doug, taking the plunge. Taking the plunge. Take the plunge. Yes, you took the plunge and you've won. <laughs> there is the bonus. Take a square, please. Five seconds. Here we go. The full word Alice is revealed. Two hundred pounds more for yours. If you tell me what it is. Alice in a glass. Alice in a glass is not right. Josephine, you're back. Here's a catchphrase. Three words, all reading sheet, appear. Two grey clouds approaching, blowing out wind. Doug. Wind blowing sheet. Wind, wind blowing blown sheets. sheets. Not right. Josephine. Three sheets to the wind. Three sheets to the wind. <laughs> Do you know what it means, Josephine? Yes. All oh, right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> She's done a lot of travelling, Josephine. Five hundred and forty pounds. There's the bonus. Take a square. Five seconds. Here we go. Five hundred and forty for one hundred and ninety more. Josephine, what's the bonus? Alice through the looking glass. Alice through the looking glass. Right. <laughs> Join us after break to see whether Josephine or Doug will be going onto the super catchphrase to try and win tonight's star prize. See you in a couple of minutes. Hurry back. Camera pans up to neon strip lights. The catchphrase Maze logo appearing. Commercial break. Who's behind the door? It's number four. You do all sorts of things when you're a parent. Bomb disposal. Spit washing. Taking out life insurance. Hello, welcome to Smart Life Insurance. You're speaking to Kate. How can I help? Hi, I'd like to get a quote, please. OK, as long as you're a UK resident, aged 18 to 64, you can apply for a benefit amount up to £750,000. There's no medical or blood tests, just a few health and lifestyle questions. £100,000 of life insurance cover could start at just £6.89 a month in the first year. That's less than I thought. And with that money, we could pay off the mortgage. And with Smart Cashback, you'll get 10% of your first year's premiums back after 12 months. I'll go ahead. At Smart Insurance, we offer a 100% advance for terminal illness and a straightforward claims process. Plus, when you take out a policy, you'll get a £100 gift card. To get a quote today, call 0800 158 3030 or visit smartinsurance.co.uk. Macmillan Coffee Morning is back this September. So let's get together and do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. Whether you're making it, baking it, even faking it. Dancing, laughing, family gathering, or just coffee and chatting. The money you raise helps us do whatever it takes for people living with cancer. There's still time to join in. Order your free Coffee Morning kit today by searching Macmillan Coffee Morning now. Making an app is a bit of a faff, but skincare can be overwhelming. Sorting out your BHAs from your PHAs, your retinols from your retinols. At Trinity London, we want to demystify skincare, which is why we created our Match to Me technology. Simply tell us about you and your skin, and in just a few minutes, we will give you a routine that is entirely personalised to you. Welcome to the joy of sensational skin. Discover your routine at trinilondon.com. Oh, hello. Hiya. I was just thinking about what you were telling me about. Pure cremation. Why you? I might give him a ring. I mean, I don't want anything fancy when I go. And it's not just you lot I have to worry about, is it now? I just don't want my kids to have the stress or worry about the money. Yes, exactly. Getting it sorted and paid for has taken a weight off my mind. It cost less than I expected, and now they... Hey, Gran! ...will be able to remember me the way they want to. Oh. Find out why the UK's best-selling plan <laughs> is the simple, fuss-free, pure cremation plan. Rated excellent on Trustpilot with over 13,000 reviews. Chat to our lovely people by calling now on 0800 130 3553 or visit purecremation.tv.
have a choice between saving one person and saving every world. I'm gonna do my own thing. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, available now in Sky Store. <laughs> now that's what I call lucky. Bubbles burst over a maze logo. Catchphrase part two. Roy Walker stands on stage facing a lit dice with two contestants. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the score. Doug's got 725 points. Josephine's got 730. As we're changing the rules, it's a very tight game. We're taking out the bell. It's fast and furious. It's the ready money round. An animated clip shows a robot surfing on a wave of gold coins. Ready money round. Josephine, Doug, watch your screens. Here's 125 pound ready money catchphrase. Hens hold beer bottles and wear party hats. Who's got a, here's Josephine. Hen party. Hen party's right. 125. There's a bonus catchphrase. We're putting 300 into the bonus line. Please take us well. Five seconds. Here we go. Legs. You've got 855 pounds for another 300. Uh, rugby players. You're not right. Doug, you're back. Here's a catchphrase. An animated fountain pen and biro shake hands. Who's going to press? You can't win if you don't press in. 125 pounds. Doug, what is it? Pens meeting. Pens meeting is not a good expression. More. Meeting pen. Meeting pen's good, it's not the one. Keep pressing and guessing. What else could it be? Josephine. Written greeting. Oh, you're not right. Keep pressing and guessing there, my friends. Come on. What would you like to be? You're an American. Pen shaking hands. No, here comes Josephine. Pen friend. Pen friend. Doug places an arm around Josephine's shoulders. <laughs> Go easy on the set, Josephine. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> 125, 980 pounds you're up to at the moment. You've won that. Can you go over a thousand? There's a bonus. She's taken the square. I'll give you five seconds. Here we go. A football bounces by a sporty studded foot. Bouncing ball. No, you're not right. Duke, you're back. Here's a catchphrase. A hand appears waving from the word heat. Who's going to press? The first thing you see, if you see something on, it's on the screen, Josephine. Hot hands. Hot hands, not good. Keep pressing and guessing. Anyone can come in. There's no bell. Josephine. Heat wave. Heat wave is right. <laughs> <laughs> Doug's going through a heat wave at the moment, so he is. He, oh, she's got a. The heat's affecting you. You're way ahead of me. Five seconds. Here we go. The top of some golf clubs. One thousand one hundred and five pounds for two hundred and eighty pounds more to your total. Oh, all rounder. No, you're not right. Sorry, Doug. You're back in play. Here's a catchphrase. A robot places the word "it" on a block of ice. There it is, it's coming up. Who's going to duck? Put it on ice. Put it on ice. Yes, that's the right answer. <laughs> right, I thought you put your charge on ice there. You're coming in, that's 850 pounds. There's the bonus. Take a square, please. The center square. Five seconds. Here we go. A red car. 850 for 270 more. What do you think it is? Car sport. Car sport's excellent. It's not the one. Josephine, you're back. Here's the catchphrase. Two clowns appear. Uh, send in the clowns. It's good, but it's not the right. Here, keep pressing and guessing. Come on. There's more things to be said about clowns. Happy clown. Happy clown. It's not right. Here's more. Glad clown. Glad clown's good, but it's not right. Keep pressing. Josephine. Tears of a clown. The tears of a clown. Oh, it's pointing to the tears. <laughs> he thought we were still in the heat wave. <laughs> There's the bonus. Take a square, please. Five seconds. Here we go. The car holds a tennis racket. For £260 more to Sport. 12... Say it. Sports car. Sports car! <laughs> Sports car. What a great player. Doug, you've got £850. Josephine's got £1,490. <laughs> We're putting the money up. It's £150 to catch these and £350 into the bonus bag. Here's a 150 pounder. A robot approaches a chair, pushing it off screen. Just say what you say. Just chair. Push chairs right, 150 quickly to you. A thousand pounds you now have. There's a new bonus. 350 into the bonus bank. Take a square. Down to the bottom. Five seconds. Here we go. Partial letters are revealed. 1,000 pounds for 350 more. Rough cut. It's good, but it's not the right one. Josephine, you're back. Here's a catchphrase. A lorry reverses to a cliff and tips out the word wink. 
Just say what you see. This is an old expression. Dump, Dump you truck. Get this one, sorry? Dump truck. You're not right, but keep pressing. Dump. Trash wink. Wink trash. Trash wink's good. It's not right. Who's going to press? Here comes Doug again. Wink on You're trash. You're not right. Keep pressing. Doug to me. Tip the wink. Tip the wink. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you know what we were talking about earlier when you said in the ready money round, I'd do that? That's called tipping a wink. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, you know, it's like, tick that. OK, there's a new bonus. Uh, you have your first attempt at it. Have a go, Josephine. Five seconds. Here we go. The word out is pegged on a line. £1,640, you have won. £340 more I can offer you if you tell me what the bonus catchphrase is. Pegging out. It's not right, Doug. You're back. Here's the catchphrase. The two vertical words, mankind, have feet. Doug. Mankind race. That's a very good guess, but it's not right. Keep pressing. One word jumps forward, an arrow marking the gap between them. Just keep pressing. Between mankind. No, you're not right. Just think of an expression with the word mankind in it. Keep pressing. There's not many sayings with the word mankind in it. Any ideas? Here comes Josephine. A uh, large step no, for mankind. No, you're not right. Keep pressing. What Small we... step for mankind. No, keep pressing. It's always seen the sports reporter saying it. World records beaten. A long race moon. for mankind. Sorry? A long race for mankind. Good, but it's not right. Keep pressing. A giant leap for mankind. Yes! <laughs> it's the only expression I know that I've ever heard of with mankind written in it. OK, £1,790. There's the bonus. Take a square, please. Five seconds. Here we go. We've got £330 more to offer you, Josephine. Hanging out your dirty linen. You're not right. Doug, you're back. Here's a cat. <laughs> oh, no. That signal means we're out of time. Take a look at the scores. Doug's got a thousand pounds. Josephine's got one thousand nine seven hundred and ninety. You're going to I still have one. I still got three hundred and twenty. It's got to be one. I'm going to show you a catchphrase. There's no bell for everyone at home and for three hundred and twenty pounds for our friends here in the studio. Watch your screens. Here we go. A woman hangs up lots of outs. Doug, hanging out. Hanging out's good, but it's not the one. Hanging out to dry. Hanging out to dry. That's the expression we want for our people mm. at home. Mm. We've still got this money to be won. We're going to show you a catchphrase. There's no bell. First person with the right answer, 320. Watch your screens. Here it comes. A mole peeks out from a mound of earth, two hands transforming it into a mountain. Doug. Making a mountain out of a mole hill. You're right! £320, Josephine's got £1,790 and wins the game, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to have you on the programme. Good luck with your DJing. Are you ever going to do it on the radio or live? Doug, it's a pleasure to have you here in Catchphrase. Thanks for playing. You take home £1,320. Doug, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take it. Josephine, it's tonight. You're in the Super Catchphrase. <laughs> Doug kisses Josephine's cheek before she steps off the dais to join Roy centre stage. As the contestant's dais rotates away, a larger screen to the pair's left comes into view. Well, Josephine, here you are, super catchphrase. Take a look at the screen. 25 lettered squares behind each one is the catchphrase and the prize worth £100. Answer me five anywhere on the screen and we'll give you £500. If you get five right, we'll give you an extra 100 That's 600 But go through the M square in any direction which the computer's showing you and you can win tonight's star prize. Ted, tell us some more about tonight's dream holiday. Josephine, you, your husband and baby Grace could be flying off to Tokyo, capital of Japan. From Tokyo and its glitzy Ginza area, you will travel by the world-famous bullet train to Kyoto, Japan's old capital, to visit the ancient temples, shrines and the amazing Golden Pavilion. Experience the unique culture of this fascinating land, all courtesy of Catchphrase! The of time, 60 seconds. If you get stuck past, you can come back. Josephine, call me a letter, please. K, please. K. Mr. Chips, the robot, sits in a liquid-filled bowl. In the soup? Right next. L. L. A headmaster raises a cane over the word retreat. B to retreat? Right next. M. M. A rolling rock hits a stationary grass-covered rock and continues to roll next to it. Uh, rolling rock? Um, pass. Pass next. N. N. A robot pumps air into an iron. Pump up the pumping iron. Right next. O. The word glove separates a hand appearing in the middle of it. 
Hand in glove. Right next. M. M. Back to the rolling rock. Rock. Rolling rock. Crashing rock. Uh, sp jumping rock and roll. Jumping rock. Twisting. Stone. Uh, jiving rock. Stone. Oh, God. Man. Two seconds. Josephine shakes her head. Oh, the audience are going to cry. We're going oh. to cry. Baby Grace is going to cry. <laughs> Let's take a look at the M square. That old catchphrase, a rolling stone gathers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Never mind. Oh, no, never mind. That. How many did she get right? She got four right, and you've won £1,790 already. Yeah. So Thank what does you. that make it up to? £2,190, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad. You're a terrific player. Um, that yes. Yet so far. And you're terrific at home, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Here's a message for all gardeners at home. The easiest thing to grow in your garden is... Tired. tired. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Camera pulls back, revealing some of the studio audience as Roy Lee... Are you still in play? There's a grand up for grabs next as we join Fifi Garfield for all new Sign to Win. We days at 12, we go from signing to spinning to bag top prizes. Solve the puzzle with the Wheel of Fortune. Six. Give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Turn Friday into Fajita Friday. Old El Paso, make some noise. Whatever you need to ask about cancer, Macmillan's free support line is just a call away. Hello, Macmillan. Whether it's money or work worries. Am I going to lose my job? Getting on with life. Can I still go abroad? Get insurance? Or just need someone to listen? How do I tell them? Our specialist advisors are here to help as often as you need them. Whatever you need to ask, cancer, work, money, life, call us now on 0808 134 3000. Meet the Ninja Foodie Jewel Zone. The air fryer that cooks two foods two ways and finishes at the same time and because it's ninja it can do so much more match and sink to air fry in one drawer roast in another and enjoy the two together with up to 75 percent less fat two drawers twice the possibility the ninja foodie jewel zone part of the ninja foodie family holidays always cost more than you expect don't they the new pair of sunglasses at the airport the cheeky lunchtime pina colada with Labara, one cost you don't have to worry about is EU roaming charges. Because, unlike most networks, with Labara, there aren't any. They're all about saving you money. Just like this ad. No Hollywood actors here. That's why they hired me, Layla from Pearly. Labara, smarter. Yes, could I get a pina colada? Win at Staying In with broadband you can trust when you're working from home. Now you can get BT Broadband, even our ultra-reliable full fibre, from only $27.99 a month on a 24-month contract. Plus, get a £20 money-back speed guarantee and Norton Security to keep you protected online. Hurry, offer ends 17th of August. Switch to BT today and win at Staying In. Learning new skills takes practice, dedication, and an army of supporters. Go Henry helps your kids build money skills now so they can go out and achieve their dreams in the future. Go Henry, where kids go to learn money skills. Paddy Power Bingo gives you the chance to win cash prizes from free games every day. Ladies and gentlemen, suitor number 10. I swipe left. Footmen. Number three. Mm. 
Oh, catfishing again, I see. Number 66. The only way is exit. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. Miss Bingo Turn may be unavailable, but Paddy Power Bingo is free every day. Oh, one for my mum. From the Arctic to the tropics and rivers to rainforests, get closer to islands bursting with life. Burnley are relegated from the Premier League. This is a big ask for Vincent Company. Come on! And we beat them. And we beat whatever comes after as well. You're all in play. Quizzing is everything and for everyone. A new British Sign Language game show, Sign to Win, now on Challenge. 58, you've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. British Sign Language Broadcasting Trust presents BSL Zone. Presenter Fifi Garfield signs. Hey, I have three teams all out to win £1,000. Will their knowledge of deaf culture and of all things deaf be enough? Three strands of light in neon pink, green and blue weave their way across a pattern of angular purple graphics. They pass through a rectangular frame and between bright coloured columns, swirling as the title appears. Sign to win. Fifi signs, are you ready to meet the teams? Three pairs of contestants wave. Alison and Alison, Leo and James, Marios and Memnos. Fifi says, let's find out more about them. The two Alisons, you've been friends for a while. Yes, we've been friends since school, so 40 years now. Have there been any clashes? <clears throat> Hardly any. So if your games go wrong, will you still be friends? One says, we'll be alright. The other says, are you sure? Hello, pink team. Leo and James, how are you feeling? James signs. Feeling good, Leo says, not falling out yet. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what happens. Will there be a punch-up or a split-up? It might finish us. Or you'll become great friends for life. Who knows? Hopefully. Wait and see. Good luck. Marios and Memnos, your brothers. We are, yes. Did you fight growing up? <laughs> Marios says, he's older and I'm younger. He was always telling me off. Do you think you have the skills for these games? Marios says, I've got a decent memory. Memnos says, no, I'm the one with a good memory. You think I'm old. Age is irrelevant. Cheeky. <laughs> well, good luck. Seems like three competitive teams here. Are you ready for a game? <laughs> The studio changes from purple to green as titles appear for game one. Fifi signs. This game is called Act of Faith. You'll have 40 seconds to describe a list of words to your partner. However, you can only sign from behind your partner. You're not allowed to sign or fingerspell the actual words. For each correct answer, you'll get one point. Easy, right? Memnos says, it looks easy. Alison says, I'm not so sure. The two Alisons come forward. One stands behind the other and stretches her arms around so her hands are in front of her friend's body. Four prompts appear on a screen. Prison, Eiffel Tower, Henry VIII and Cricket. One Alison signs and the other guesses. If in trouble, police. Go where? Police station. House name? Oh, jail. I'll accept jail. Famous French place. Paris? I can't accept that. Man marries six wives. King Henry the Sixth? No. King Henry the Seventh? Up, up. Henry the Eighth? Yes, that's correct. Sport, play with ball and bat, wickets. Time's up. Well done. Shall we see the missing words? Ah, that last one, cricket. <laughs> so how do you feel? Huh? Not bad. 
Okay, thank you. Off you go back. Pink team, are you ready to come up? How are you feeling? Bit nervous. We'll give it a go. James stands with his back to the screen. Leo stands behind him and twists around to look at the four prompts. Hospital, Robin Hood, Computer and Snooker. Fifi starts the timer. People ill, go where? Hospital. Arrow, Robin Hood. I can't accept that. The arrow is a sign name for Robin Hood. Use laptop. More. Um... Next. Eight pockets. Where? Rectangle. Corners. In, in, in... Spider? Again. Ball. Snooker. Yes. Work, work, work. Office. Use table. Use office. Work keyboard. Table. Read, read, read. Stage. Work with it. Read. Oh, computer. Oh, you're just too late. <laughs> I just couldn't get that sign. <laughs> oh, you did well. I signed Robin Hood. Whoops. <laughs> Leo and James high five. Fifi invites the blue team to come forwards. <laughs> She says, you've watched the others. Are you confident of beating them? Memnos says, I've got to be confident, but I'm nervous. This game is about faith in each other. Marios says, we'll see. Memnos stands behind Marios. His four prompts are Sunday Roast, Bruce Lee, Deaf You and Chess. Memnos signs, dinner, not Monday, not Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday what? Roast dinner. Fifi says, no, you signed it, you need to move on. Karate. Marios guesses, Bruce Lee? Yes. TV, American, Netflix, the Lord at University, controversial. Marios says, I don't know, move on. Memnos signs, square, black, white squares, Queen, Marios asks, tiles, no, square, game, small pieces, wood. Come on, watch your time. Chess, university, Netflix, film, ah, you don't know. Marios turns round. What was it? Deaf you, Netflix. Oh, I've seen it. Great, thanks. Back you go. <laughs> Never mind. So, game one is finished and the scores are in. And your scores? It's a draw. Everyone smiles. Fifi says, that's two points to each team. Each team's points were reduced from three points to two points. The adjudicator spotted the green team said Paris. It should have been Eiffel Tower. OK, fair enough. The pink team signed Robin Hood like an arrow, an obvious sign name. Oh dear, yes. And blue team Sunday. Ouch. <laughs> yes, you signed each day, including the day of Sunday lunch. Well done, a score draw. Now, are you ready for game two? The studio turns purple. Fifi signs. Game two is called Double Vision. A picture will be revealed. If you recognize it, hit your button. If your answer is right, you score one point. But if you hit the button and get it wrong, you'll lose a point. So here's your first picture. Bright colors appear. Marios guesses Olympics, the logo. That's the wrong answer. We'll carry on. Memnos guesses Deaf Olympics. Fifi says that's right, the Deaf Olympics. The screen shows a colourful circle of bright coloured hand like shapes. Fifi signs D 
Did you know at the next Games, in 2024, the Deaf Olympics will be 100 years old? Have any of you been? Alison says I've been. Marios says, I was in the GB football team in 2017 at the Deaf Olympics in Turkey. It was awesome. Are you ready for the next picture? Patches of yellow appear, including a flame, then a man's beard. Memnos guesses Jerry Hughes, famous for sailing round the world backwards. That's right. Jerry Hughes is the right answer. Can any of you sail? <laughs> James says I can't. Leo says I'd be too scared. Ready for the next picture? The curved edges of a gold item appear. It's a disc engraved with a five-point star and a leaf pattern. One of the Allisons buzzes. A gold medal? That's the right answer. A gold medal. Alison says, phew, I thought I'd have to be specific. Her friend says, I was the same. I wasn't sure. Here's a fact you might want to know. In the 1948 Summer Olympic Games, a famous deaf person, Alfred Thompson from the UK, won a gold medal for a painting event at the Games. It was also the last time the event took place. Did you know that? Memnos says, wow, no, that's fascinating. Alison says, painting in the Olympics? Really? How weird. Right. Are you ready for the next picture? A white metal structure. James buzzes. Marios signs. Oh, it's Wembley Stadium. James guesses. Wembley. Wembley, yes. You football guys need to be quicker on the button. Do you know how many stadiums there are in the UK? <laughs> Ready for the final picture? A man's chin, ear and short white hair appear. Memnos buzzes. <laughs> right. Lord? Jack? Ashley? Is the right answer. Marios says, good man. Alison says, good hit. That's the end of game two. Now for the scores. The team in the lead is... The pink team, Leo and James. You scored four points. It's a draw for blue and green with three points each. <laughs> Close. I'm up for a fight. Remember, in Sign to Win, anything can happen. Scores can change. After Game 3, the team with the lowest score goes home. You're not ready for that. Memnos says, no, I want to stay with you. Is the right answer. Well done. Are you ready for Game 3? Bring it on. The studio turns orange as titles appear. Game 3. Shapes and signs. Fifi says, game three is all about hand shapes. You need to give me as many signs as possible to match a hand shape. Each correct sign wins you one point, And you'll have 20 seconds. The first team will be the pink team, as they have the most points. James signs yes. Feeling confident? <laughs> Leo says, I'll help out. James will answer and I'll feed him ideas. So, do you want to see a picture of your hand shape? Ready? On the screen, a photo of a hand with the index finger and thumb making a loop, and the other fingers extended. Fifi says your time starts, 20 seconds remember, now. James signs, special, perfect, zero, ask, question someone, a question, water, blow, long time, Inquire, tube, benefits. Okay, we have to stop there. Leo says, I was lost. 
<laughs> Fifi says, Green team, you're up next. Are you ready to see your handshape? The two Allisons nod.